Hi everyone, my name's Sky, and in this video I'm going to be showing you one of the biggest updates yet in Luminar Neo. From editing your photos across multiple devices in real time, this release is all about giving creators more freedom with their photos. Let's see how this looks in practice. I captured this shot of our hire car whilst travelling through the Scottish Highlands. Thanks to Luminar Neo's latest update, I was able to start editing right away on my tablet during the trip, making some basic adjustments to match the mood and atmosphere of the moment. Once I got home, I opened the same project on my desktop and all my edits were perfectly synced. Okay, so as I can see on the catalogue, the image has loaded up here perfectly. So the first thing that I'd like to do before anything is I'd like to crop the image just so slightly. We've got this person to the left of the image. So if I come down to crop AI and I'll just bring it in ever so slightly, just so the front right tire is on the left third. Press apply, that looks great. Really happy with how that looks. Okay, and then we've got this sort of pole that's sticking out, which to be honest, looking back at it, I maybe should have positioned the car slightly differently so it doesn't overlap with the car, but judging by the time that I had, I didn't have enough time to do this whilst on the lookout for wildlife. So if I come back to the catalogue, you can use Gen Erase, and from here, I can just paint round and just get generative fill just to erase that pole. Okay, and already that's just made such a huge difference to the image. Okay, and one of the things I'd like to do is I'd like to keep the exposure of the sky, but when I bring down the exposure to get the details of the sky, the front of the image becomes darker because obviously that's where a lot of the shadows are. So one of the things that we can do and one of the things that Luminar Neo have brought in is a new light depth tool. If we increase the amount and then here we can sort of move the slider around the subject and we can see where the light would hit the car if we added more lights in. So if I wanted it going around to the front there and then we increase the amount even more before and after, and that's perfect. So you can already see that the car is starting to stand out a lot more just by using this one tool, but we can still preserve the highlight in the background of the image. Okay, and one of the things that I'd like to do is I just like to get rid of all the sort of dirt that's in the road. So if you just come over to erase. I can then get rid of all the sort of imperfections in the image, especially in the road, just so it cleans it up a bit and so it looks a bit more tidier, so it's more pleasing to the eye. So if we look at before and after, you can tell it's done a really good job at just cleaning up the image just so it looks a lot nicer. Okay, and then after that, if we come down to the landscape tool, we can increase the dehaze slightly just to create more depth in the image again. Uh, if we increase the foliage enhancer, which will dictate the greens in the image, and then we'll just bring this over towards the yellows, just so it looks a bit more natural. That looks perfect. Overall, I think the light depth tool is perfect if you want more light going onto your subject while still keeping and retaining all the details in the background of your image. And this is really good because you can always take this back to your laptop or your mobile device and carry on editing if you wish to. The last thing you can do is you can come over to export, publish a space, create a new space, and from here, I will do road trip in Scotland. Then publish that. And what publishing to your spaces does means you can edit multiple photos and publish them to the exact same space so that all your photos can be under one gallery, under one URL, so everyone can see what photos you've edited from that trip. So that's mainly some of the new updates using Luminar Neo. You can edit on multiple devices such as on your tablet, on your phone, or even on your workstation, and all the edits work seamlessly, whether that be masks or different edits onto your image. There is also the photo restoration feature that they have available, which is perfect for cleaning up old photos as well. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and leave a comment below.